Well, I've been asked if um, others, if, if others could perform my version. And I'm still grappling with that. Um, and I think if anyone else were to do it, people would be offended. My own people would be offended. And I think there's something about that. There's grounds to stand on. So let's say you want to teach this particular story in your own classroom. How do you ensure that it is done in a way that is respectful? So I get offered, or I get asked to come and perform it in certain classrooms here in the university. And I'm fine with that. I do that because that's my role and responsibility as a communicator of our living culture, as a bridge um, between the Indigenous and the non-Indigenous world. That's part of my role. But in other contexts, I wonder, you know, I know that there are people who have issue with others taking stories and rewriting them uh, and, and publishing them as their own. I know that there, that's been a huge issue where our stories are, we are mined for our stories and then they're taken and sold because that places them out of the realm of ceremony. It takes them out of the context when you need part of it, an integral part of, of our stories is the performance of these stories, the telling of these stories. So you can't just separate them and take them out of, out of their context and write them and put them on a piece of paper because it flattens them. Another key part of that is the telling of that story, which is, it keeps them alive and, and, and gives them life because that's what they're about, is life, right? So by, by writing them down, they've been flattened. And so that's what I've come to understand in my own work with the Sky Woman story is that those versions that were written were written by men who, some of our own men even, uh, we have Seneca and Tuscarora, cultural keepers that wrote things down. And they, they did that, I think, to help them keep them, keep them. But then others wrote them down they flatten them because they took out all of the female elements that are so necessary and even my own our own people did that too and it flattens them and it, it kind of takes the life out of them so you need both well, in rewriting it and putting in the first person it, it slightly brought it off the page but now the telling aspect is really important and it brings it back into life up and off the page and back into life So if if I wanted to, in some way, you tell Sky Woman, mm -hmm. is there any way for somebody who's not of the community to actually share this story in a respectful way, or is it is it um, is that even possible? I think it is. I think you have to contextualize it and say, "Here's this is what I know of the Haudenosaunee people. This is their story. And I've asked permission if I can tell that story. Permission has been given for this one time. And I'm, I've made a point of asking for permission each time so that there's an acknowledgement that I'm not of this community of people, but it's a respect that is being paid not only to the people themselves, but also to the story itself. 